We're good to go. Shall we crack straight on? I think we should. Uh, Bina is in Chipping in Lancashire. Bina, question or answer? Question, please, James. Carry on. So, I absolutely adore t drinking tea. Oh. And sometimes... That's very strong. I, I mean, some people do, don't they? Tea. No, it's, it's like my, my thing of choice, my drink of choice. Lovely. If I'm up, if I'm down... Tea. tea. So sometimes Yorkshire tea, other teas are available. They are. Sometimes when I make a cup of tea, it is like ambrosia. Yes. Not not the right thing. <laughs> you stole my joke. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> um, it's it's perfect, James. And then I can ten minutes later make another cup of tea. Yes. And it's like bin juice. Yes. Well, it's not quite like bin juice, but it is, well, it's disgusting. You know, when I... You Are know, you making it with the same I, cup, same ke same kettle? No, that's the thing. It ah. could be. That's the problem. Depending on the cup, why does it taste... Why would that be? Uh, Stuart's in Ricelip. Stuart, question or answer? Question, please, James. Carry on, Stuart. Every day, a flock of parakeets fly over my house, very close together, very fast, and change direction. Why do they not bump into each other? And if you think about murmurs or starlings the night, same yeah. question. Wow. Murmurations, I think it is, isn't it? Correct. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's a, it's a sort of spatial awareness question, isn't it? But 11 after 12 is the time. Tom's in Sudbury. Tom, question or answer? I have a question. Carry on. So, um, I was telling my kids a sort of a random story the other day, and they said, why do they do that? Um, so I thought I needed to phone you. Yeah. Um, so, it was a couple of years ago, I was in... Bristol. Right. I think I was on an MOD site and I went to the canteen for lunch. Yeah. And I took my plate up and the woman there who was serving me said, I try not to imitate the accent while saying the words. She said something like, hello, my love. Yeah. That will be £3.50, please, darling. Yeah. There you go, the edgy chain, sweetheart. Yeah. And so I told it to my kids, this is the thing, and they're like, why are they being so nice? And I was like, that's a really good question. Um, Mystery Hour on LBC with James O'Brien. It is 18 minutes after 10. A few of you, I, I don't think it quite qualifies for mystery hour, but yes, it is true that a Conservative MP stood up in the House of Commons yesterday and claimed that the discovery of razor clam beds in the River Thames was a Brexit bonus. Me neither. But um, I, no doubt that will take a huge bite out of the 30 billion quid that I think the Mayor is uh, detailing today as having been lost to the UK economy by that incredible act of national idiocy. But we haven't talked about it for a while. We should probably go and rectify that at the first opportunity, but not now because it's mystery hour and it continues. Ash is uh, in Bath. Ash, question or answer? Uh, I have a question, please, James. Carry on. So I've, I've had one of those weeks where I've had to take my, my dog to the vet three times so far. Good, good Lord. Have uh, you taken it alone uh, yet? <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to need to at this rate. Um, and I, I found it really interesting how they tested for everything. They they did what they, they called a sort of nose-to-tail um, diagnosis, for want of a better phrase, yeah. and found various different things. And, you know, they, they found a little rash on his paw, so they gave him some cream for that. And then later in the week, they found that he had some swelling around his neck, so they, they gave him some uh, some medication for that. And it got me to thinking... What would happen if your dog was just suffering with a really bad headache or a migraine? You know, you can't discuss it with them. How would they test for that? Uh, Phil's in Bedford. Phil, question or answer? It's a question, please, James. Carry on, Phil. It's going to sound a little bit daft on face value, but what I want to know is, on a nice, clear, sunny day, you stand looking at the sun in the sky. Yeah. Is the sun really there? Uh, Ian's in Prestatin. Question Hi, James. Hey, Ian, I've, question yeah, or answer? I've got a question for you. Carry on. I'm basically intrigued as to how much time has to elapse before it becomes acceptable to start digging up dead people. Uh, Scott's in Edinburgh. Scott, question or answer? Hi, James. I have a question. Carry on. So, last night I was making my dinner, right? Oh, and yeah. I had a bell pepper. Oh, yeah. I chopped it open, mm. right? Mm. And a bell pepper is obviously hollow in the middle. Yeah. And I thought, hold on a minute, this bell pepper is full of air. Where's that air from? <laughs> if it was grown in Morocco, is that Moroccan air inside my bell pepper? 